Hello, middle school math teacher. If you are a brand new teacher about to jump into the world of middle school math and you are super confused on where do you even start, you're in luck because in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you three ways on how to start your year successfully. If we don't already know each other, my name is Kathy Martin and I'm the creator of the Pre-Algebra Teachers Middle School Math Membership. We are your one-stop shop for everything you need to teach middle school math. Okay, let's dive in to my three strategies. Strategy number one, decide what your rules are going to be. Even if you want to brainstorm rules with your students at the beginning of the year, I know a lot of teachers like to, you know, have all the kids come, everyone's going to collectively make up the rules for the class. Even if that is what you want to do, you still need to have an idea of what you want the rules to be so that you can kind of guide the kids into making those rules that you want. If you don't want to do that, that's totally fine. You can just have your rules set up on a chart. At the beginning of the year, that's what I do. I just have my rules already written, but you have to know what you want those rules to be, okay, before the first day. Strategy number two, you need to figure out what your classroom systems are going to be. And by system, I mean, how are you going to have things run? That means what is the system for your students to use the bathroom? Like, can they just get up out of their chair and use the bathroom whenever they want? Or is it, you know, they have, they are allowed to go a certain points during the period. What do you want that system to look like? What is your system for turning in homework slash assignment slash late work? Do, is the expectation that you are just going to go up to every individual student and ask them for their work? Is there going to be an area in your class where the students are supposed to turn in work, turn in late work? You know, what is the system for when your students are absent? Are they expected to come and ask you? Are you going to have a teacher website? Is there going to be a place, a table, or some type of hanging chart in your class for them to go get the missing work? What is the system for supplies in your class? Because you know kids are going to walk in without pencils, without paper, without their supplies. It just is what it is. Where are they supposed to go in your class to get supplies? Can they just go and rummage into your cabinets? Is there a specific spot? Do you have a specific, you know, um, like pencil holder? These are all things that you have to think about that you're going to want to build the system around. And you also have to remember that whatever the system is for these things, and you know, these are just a, an example, the four examples of systems that you should have in your class, you're going to have to repeat. Okay. Like if you tell your students when you're absent, go to the folder, take your absent work, you know, you, hopefully you don't have students who are absent every day, right? So you're going to have to repeat that probably more than once, right? Because they're not going to remember and that's okay, but we want to get into the routine of things as much as possible. And number three, make sure that you have a subfolder sub plans created like before the first day of school, or at least at the latest during your first week, create some sub plans because emergencies happen. We don't want them to obviously, but you want to be able to have things ready so that if you're absent, if there's an emergency and you cannot create lesson plans, like, you know, you can call the office or call your next door neighbor and say, Hey, I have an emergency subfolder. It's like purple and it's in my whatever. It's like in my desk drawer, it's purple and it says subfolders, sub plans on it. Pull that out and have the sub use whatever is in there. Just setting yourself up for that is a huge success because then it's a huge weight off of your shoulders. God forbid something horrible happens, but then you're not scrambling, trying to get a sub, trying to create sub plans, trying to figure it all out. At least if you have your subfolder already done, that is a huge piece that's already done. So let me know in the comments what other tips that you have for other new teachers that you have found to be beneficial. And let me know which of these three tips you're going to use first. Good luck with the new school year. And if you need any help or support, please come join us inside of the pre-algebra teachers, middle school math membership. We have all of your lessons, PowerPoints, practice problems, 
printable activities, digital activities, tests, bell ringers, everything you need to make a new teacher and veteran teacher life so much easier. Because I can say with all honesty, I spend no more than 30 minutes a week lesson planning, which is huge because that used to take me three hours. So I would love to come and invite you to come. I would love to invite you to come join us inside the pre-algebra teachers math membership. If you want to learn more, the link is below in the description box below. And don't forget these three strategies, decide what your rules are going to be, figure out your classroom systems and get that sub plan done until next time. Bye for now.